Thank you, Byron. Thank you very much for that. Of course, the reveal of the mushroom now completely ruined by the fact that uh, Byron shared what it was that we had. That's okay. It is a very big mushroom, and it's the same one that Jamie showed the other day when she was on drive and I was in the tent. That's right. And I didn't know what it was, and I didn't realize where it was. I have done a segment on this mushroom probably about six months ago, I think, exactly the same mushroom place, and obviously it's died off and come back again. And it is a quite spectacular piece of fungus. And Herbert reckons that this is the same kind of mushroom that grows out of trees. I initially thought it might be from a termite mound, because sometimes you see this kind of, um, it almost looks like that uh, ice cream mixed with honey, that sort of color coming out of the bottom of termite mounds, because we know that the, many of the termites grow their own funguses, certainly the ones that build the mounds here. But this is different, this is not the same thing. And Herbie reckons that this is growing on some kind of dead wood under the ground here. Anyway, the ants are absolutely loving it. You can see they're climbing around all over it. There's some termites there, there's some sort of what look almost like specialized fruit flies on it. And I think it's got a bit of a smell. Can you smell it, David? No, it's not this that smells, it's a herb around here. So I don't know. I don't know what it's, where it comes from. And what I want to do is just break, take a little piece off it and see if we can't have a look underneath because I think the spores would come from under here the spore of course is what a mushroom how a mushroom breeds I'll just make a little incision here you I mean this this if it was edible I imagine would be delicious can you see that David looks like it should be cooked up with some butter and garlic mmm and there, that's where the spores would be. You see, you're wondering about edible mushrooms and if we have a lot of them, and I don't think we do. We have some. I am not prepared to try and identify them and eat them, but I do know people who collect mushrooms and who will eat them, and not so much in this part of the world, but certainly in the Cape, where it is fashionable to do things like drink um, artisanal coffee and go collecting your own mushrooms in sort of a designer, what are those, lumberjack wear, that sort of thing, with a designer beard as well, uh, some pseudo bush clothing, or well, those sorts of people like to go collecting mushrooms in the Cape, and there are quite a few that you can find there, in amongst the poplar trees on the wine farms, for example. But these, I don't know, I mean, Herbert does say that he has eaten wild mushrooms out here, but he, even with his extensive knowledge of plants, he said he wouldn't go anywhere near uh, a mushroom. So I don't think there are that many that we can eat out here. Good. All right, well, that is our mushroom, our mushy. Let's continue on our...